So with regards to PK or pharmacokinetics, PK is basically going to help you answer the question of how long is your therapeutic going to be available in the circulation to work. Um, so monoclonal antibodies, particularly those of the IgG subclass, have been really attractive molecules for um, developing therapies, particularly because you can engineer their variable regions and then achieve uh, target specificity. But there's also another really important component of IgGs, which is their ability to have a really long half-life in circulation um, as compared to other Ig subclasses. So Greg, what is it about IgG that makes it so distinct um, from those other Ig, IG subclasses that allows IgG to have such a long half-life? So the IgG isotypes, they bind to a receptor called FCRN. And FCRN uh, is within a pathway such that when the antibodies are internalized and the pH of those endosomes are lowered as they're approaching the lysosomes, the lower pH causes the IgG antibodies, not the IgM or IgE, but the IgG to bind to FCRN. And then they are transported back up to the surface of the cell and uh, at neutral pH, they're released back into circulation. And, and so that's how they, they gain their long half-life. 